Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about the enhanced new knife tool in X8 and above. And I'll be 100% honest with you, I never really used the knife tool in earlier versions, but I think I'm going to start using it now. So click on your item and go up to your knife tool. It's in the same spot. And it you comes up with a menu, and you've got a two-point line, a curve line, a bezier tool, auto-close, and gaps. So we've got our item click, and I'm going to cut that heart in half. Now that heart is two different pieces. We're going to click on this one. We're going to go that, and I'm going to put auto close. It automatically closed the two parts, so you could readily color them in if you had to. It's got a freehand tool that's pretty cool, and you can set it. Tell you what, we're going to take off the auto close. We're going to set it on 100, which is a real smooth. And we're going to draw. Well, I didn't click on You have to click on the, on the heart. So now we've broken this heart in half with a pretty smooth line. But what you can also do is have a gap. So we're going to have a gap of one inch through our heart. We're going to use a two-point line. Look at that. That would be cool and then put somebody's name through it. And see, I don't have auto close, so you got two more parts. Let's try it this time. Let's back up here and go auto close. Now we got two separate parts. Get back to our pick tool. So now you got two separate parts. Now this would really be neat on a, you know, a lot of people put names inside of a names and this isn't the best, probably the best for this, but let's have a one inch gap, straight line connector. You got to click on your item. How neat would that to be then put somebody in a bigger font and put, you know, put some other words inside here. And that's not as far as it'll go yet, but I'm going to stop the video because there's some other things with overlaps and, and things that just, I don't want to make the video too long. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.